What's up everybody, it's Sean here, back today to give you guys my review of the Nike Air Force One Low by You in the Natural Tones colorway. This is another sneaker that I created through the Nike by You, formerly known as Nike ID platform. For those that don't know what that is, it's an online platform on Nike's website that allows consumers to customize their very own silhouettes based on a set number of patterns, colors, and materials. So for this Air Force One Low, this pair retailed for $130 US dollars or $175 here in Canada. Between the time that I clicked order to when I received these in hand, it took about three and a half weeks, which isn't bad at all. The inspiration behind this pair was actually modeled after a design that was created by Tyler Mansour, who is a senior photographer over at Kith. So I added some tweaks to my pair, but the general idea was based off of his image. Diving straight into the shoe, so the upper is constructed using a combination of leather and suede. As you take a look at the toe box, so this front portion is entirely done in white colored leather, and we have these perforations along the toe box, which is standard across all your Air Force Ones. Covering the eye stays, we have this tan colored leather, which on Nike's website is called Light or Wood Brown. Moving downwards on the quarter panel of both sides of the sneaker, this is constructed out of a fossil stone colored suede, and I chose to make the Nike swoosh the same color as well. Further downwards, wrapping around the back end of the sneaker, here we have a smoke gray colored suede, and then on the top of the back heel, we have this light or wood brown suede, and it's finished off with Nike Air branding embroidered in white. For the laces, I opted for a clean white colored flat lace, and they also come with a matching white colored dubre at the bottom as well. Underneath the laces, we have a white leather tongue, and at the top of the tongue, we have this light or wood brown leather patch with Nike Air embroidered in the center. The inner liner of this shoe is also done in leather, which gives it a very nice luxurious finish, and I opted for a fossil stone color. Pulling up the insoles, these come with their standard Nike insole, which is done in black, and we have Nike Air branding stamped on the heel in white. So the upper of these Air Force One Lows sits atop this white colored midsole, but for the Air branding on the lateral side, I chose a fossil stone color, which gives it some nice added pop. And encapsulated within the midsole, but not visible to the eye, we do have Nike Air Sole technology for added cushioning. Flicking the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your standard Air Force One outsole. So this is entirely done in this fossil stone color. We have this circular traction pattern on the forefoot and Nike branding underneath the middle. In terms of sizing, my feet measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. I opted for true to size for this pair. For a lot of people, if you have narrow or normal width feet, you can definitely go down a half size. But for me, true to size was good from a width perspective. There was a little bit extra room in the toe box than I would have liked, but it wasn't that big of a deal. So all in all, whatever your normal Air Force One size is, I'd stick with that. And if you haven't worn an Air Force One before, most people go half size down, but if you have wider feet, you can definitely go true to size as well. Next up, from a comfort standpoint, these feel exactly the same as all my other Air Force Ones, so it is a pretty heavy feeling shoe, and it's not the most comfortable sneaker out there. This midsole, despite being super chunky, it's actually very stiff. You can't really feel the air cushioning underneath your feet, so it's much more of a lifestyle, casual use shoe as opposed to comfort. Finally, from a quality standpoint, so for this version of the Air Force One, this is the more premium version at 130 US or 175 Canadian. I believe there is a cheaper model, which is about 20 or $30 less. But for these guys, because you are paying a premium, the materials they give you are actually reflected in the price. So for my pair at least, both the leather toe box and the suede on the back, I was pretty happy with the overall quality. It felt pretty thick and it didn't have that plastic feel that a lot of Air Force Ones have. For a pair that was customized by me and arrived to my door within three and a half weeks, I had zero complaints overall. So with all that being said, let's lace up these natural tones Air Force One Low by you and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. Despite not having the catchy or the hype themes that other of my Air Force One by You creations had, like the Dior's and the Black Snake Tints, I gotta say I was very happy with the overall result. I love the color scheme on this shoe, how it progresses from white and it gets darker and darker towards the back. And in my opinion, this shoe can be worn during spring, summer, or fall. 
So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of my latest Nike by You creation. Are you guys feeling the look, the color scheme of these Air Force Ones, or is this design not really for you? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at sgo8, check out my Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website at seango.ca. So until next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.